Chapter 8 quadrilateral. Let us see what is a quadrilateral. I gave the definition, even though I am going to explain this. A quadrilateral is a closed figure bounded by four line segment. It may be of any shape, different shapes are there. Already I have given the definitions of different shape also. But what I want to tell you, it is a four sided figure. It is a four sided figure. A figure closed by four line segment. So it has four sides. Four sides it has. All the sides may be of different length or equal order, but maybe it has four sides. Similarly, four corners, that means four angles it has. Four angles. And sum of all these four angles is 360 degree. That I was talking about a quadrilateral. And it may be of different types. It may be a square, it may be a rectangle, it may be a parallelogram, it may be a kite. So if you talk about a quadrilateral, if I do a rough sketch, a quadrilateral, it may be of any shape I told you, any shape, it is a quadrilateral. See the quadrilateral. A quadrilateral, we can have a, uh, in a quadrilateral, we can have a trapezium also. A trapezium is also a quadrilateral. In a trapezium, only one pair of opposite sides are parallel. This is a trapezium. These are not parallel. Oblique sides are not parallel. It may be a kite. It may be a kite. This is also a quadrilateral. These two are equal in kite. These two are also equal. But all the four sides are not. These two adjacent sides are not equal. Or it may be a parallelogram. If you talk about a parallelogram, see, I'm going a little bigger than this. Why? If it's a parallelogram, opposite sides are parallel. These two are parallel, and this line will be parallel to this. Here, only one side is parallel. There is no sides are parallel here. You can see it here. Here, opposite sides are parallel. In this parallelogram, we can have a rectangle. We can have a square. We can have a rhombus. So we can have a rhombus. We can have a square. We can have a rectangle. So if I do a rectangle, under this we can have three, we can have a rectangle, we can have a rectangle, we can opposite sides are equal and angle is 90 degree, rectangle. We can have a square, we can have a where all the four sides are equal, where all the four sides are equal and angle is 90 degree and we can also have a rhombus. A rhombus all the four sides are equal but all the four sides are but angles are not 90 degree here angles are 90 degree that means a square can be a rhombus a rectangle a, rhomb a, a, a square can be a rhombus a square can be a rectangle also so this is what I was talking about but in, uh, in this chapter we'll discuss only about this and these three shapes and sometimes and this may also be used so these are important and the properties I gave you need to buy the properties without the property with the help of that property we cannot solve sums important among all these these are very important because all these three are the part of this parallelogram the parallelogram one property is that if you look a parallelogram then a diagonal one single single si single diagonal can divide a parallelogram in two triangles of congruent well, you can see these two triangles will be common theorem one and as well as if you look some more properties if you look then opposite sides are equal this will be cos this this will be cos these opposite sides are equal as well as the opposite angles also equal opposite angles of parallelogram are equal so you need to buy all these properties again the sum of the interior adjacent and subject means these two interior angles these two will be supplementary or this plus this is one degree or this plus this is one or this plus this also one degree that means any two adjacent angles will be supplementary. That is also important property. We need to buy all this. So I gave all the properties. Please buy this so that you can understand. Thank you. I will start the next exercise.